and welcome to Feedbackular, the show that's all about what you've been saying. This week, to my consternation, all you've been saying is Flappy Bird. <laughs> Yes, with a new generation of consoles upon us, the Unreal 4 engine on the way, and some really interesting stuff happening with the Oculus Rift, all anyone's been playing this week is a game where you tap the screen to make a bird go up and along between a bunch of pipes. At least you were, until the creator of Flappy Bird, Dong Guyan, whose name I have almost certainly mispronounced, suddenly pulled the game from the App Store and Google Play, despite the fact it was apparently pulling in $50,000 a day. Explaining himself on Twitter, he said he simply couldn't take it anymore, though he was keen to say pulling the game was nothing related to legal issues. In other words, a creator decided he didn't want the thing he made to be available anymore because that's something he has the right to do. The reaction from across all the internet, not just our commenters, was staggering. How in the hell did this dumb game become a hit? It's so garbage. Do people really fall for this crap? Seriously? Oh. My. God. Why are you people talking about this game? Who gives a fat shit about Flappy Bird? Who is this guy? Philfish 2? Stop whining, you little girl. You made 50 grand in ad revenue a day. Welcome to the internet. You know, the same guys that made you earn that money. Just tried it, seriously. That is the sort of shit that is supposed to dethrone consoles. He's saying that so more people try his game. And after 24 hours, he'll back down. That's how disgusting these people are. Game should have been pulled because it sucks. I never heard of this game and within a day it's all over the media. Is this the garbage the media dishes out to people in a day? You are all such fucking sheep. That's a lot of vitriol right there, and I'd like to remind you it's directed at one dude who made a game because he likes making games. A game where you make a bird flap between pipes. Possibly the most inoffensive game concept since perma-stoned indie title Proteus. So just why has this simplistic little time sink ruffled so many feathers? <laughs> Well, firstly, it's popular. So popular, people are still trying to buy it now it's been pulled. For example, through troll-riddled eBay auctions for phones with Flappy Bird installed. Some say they're even taking to the streets. All right, mate, uh, you got any Flappy? Your cop. No, mate, no. Yeah, all right, I've got an iPhone with it installed. All right, how much? Under grand. I've got one for you. Yeah, all right. Second, Flappy Bird is hated because it's not just popular, it's casual, meaning it's guaranteed to bring a load of pretentious assholes out of the woodwork who want to save casual gamers from themselves with their unique brand of douchery. Like these guys. Honestly, in a way, we hardcores just bully tasteless and idiotic people who are playing the game. Despite it being a condemnable behaviour, the medium can only benefit if we manage to drive away this kind of people from it. Mainstreaming of the gaming hobby, after all, hasn't brought many benefits aside from famous actor voice acting. And look at that pseudo-realistic explosion! This shit is not a game! It's a fucking app! Shits like this doesn't work a title game! Oh, this is attention to a game that most of us would equate to a minigame and far more engaging games. Ain't it amazing what casuals are so easily amused with? Thanks for the analysis, you douchebags! So ultimately, Flappy Bird proved itself to be a lot more than just a simple game about flying between pipes. It became a vast economic success, then it became a target for those people who found it somehow offensive to their delicate sensibilities as gamers that the game exists in the first place. If nothing else, Flappy Bird has shed some light on a particularly ugly corner of the gaming community. People talk about themselves as hardcore gamers, as if they're an all-knowing, superior class. A smarter, more discerning type of player who is quite happy to be left to their superlative game experiences. When those casual players they're so keen to dismiss as irrelevant enjoy something to the extent it actually gets popular though, all the toys come out the pram. Those same aloof hardcore players get offended because casual players have found something they like, or because it doesn't align with their lofty perceptions of what is truly good. And it's that kind of attitude that, frankly, pisses me off. These people want to have their cake, eat it, then tell other people they're morons for their own choice of sponge. And that's kind of sad, really. Anyway, that's all we got time for this week. I've probably offended about a third of our viewership, so I best lay low for a bit. Please direct any personal insults at Johnette until next week when I shall return. Bye!